data is not just a collection of figures uh, that you access easily on a computer. It's much more than that, it can be a tool. Everything that has to do with data is very exciting to me. If we get this right, big data can completely change how we do our business. It can completely change how we evaluate ourselves. It can change the nature of fraud and corruption work. It can change the nature of accounting. The potential of meetings like this is in bringing together and leveraging different views on issues that we're all struggling with jointly. What's really important is that we start learning each other's language and facilitating those conversations by spending more time at Datadize. I mean, yes, the purpose here is building, trying to find solutions, analyzing, but there is a, a side effect, a sort of positive externality is, is the trust building, the relationship building. Another big issue with big data is context. You need to understand a country context and a cultural context to understand what the data is telling you. We also need to, to move away from just doing interesting, nice, cool stuff with the data to produce something everybody, not just the researchers, but everybody, your mother, your father, your grandparents, can absorb and understand. People who produce the data, you can think of them as composers, I guess. Composers who produce the music. And uh, I think getting people who can also play the music and maybe people who can make the instruments I think that's, that will be extremely useful. I think this event does bring those kinds of people together. After working with big data for a while, you get used to the cycle of what you're going to have to do. And so you know you have to clean the data, you have to analyze the data, and then visualize the data, and then rinse and repeat. And that's the entire process. We took open data from the World Bank, and open data from the scientific community, and took the satellite data, put it together with the poverty data, and built interactive visualizations and statistical models to try to understand better the relationship between light and poverty. I'm seeing uh, folks at the bank, experts in uh, poverty, anti-corruption work, the operations and activities of the bank, for the first time uh, playing with these ideas of uh, using data in innovative ways, meeting computer scientists, statisticians from outside our institution who have new ideas and can apply it to these problems. So the, I think the biggest thing we'll see is connecting some dots between this institution and uh, experts outside it who have something to add. To have people coming in with new ideas of where to get the information from, where to pull that information from and how we can use it is, is excellent for our work because we tend to just react to allegations and we're trying to be more proactive in our work. It's something that's really exciting to me to see things I had never even considered or were possible I'm seeing here on display and it's, uh, it's, it's really quite exciting to see how, that, how that's being done. We have about a hundred million tweets and we're going to try to use these to come up with new ways of measuring poverty. And we're going to be looking at the mix of skills in human capital related to ultimate performance. With our tool it's more a reverse Google. I have a data set of banana prices that I've scraped. If you want to help me visualize that, come join us. I'm thrilled by, by the fact that different agencies have come together. So it's not just the World Bank, but we have UNDP, Global Pulse, QCRI, UNDB. So we all come together to address common shared challenges. That's fantastic. And even within the bank, we brought a whole range of people from different parts of the bank together to work on common issues. To me, that's phenomenal. These events, they raise a lot more questions than they answer, and that's the beauty of data. During these few days, I've seen a very uh, creative usage of the data that we have. So that is giving me a lot of ideas on, you know, for the new version of the mobile app, the main one, for possibly building a new one. I'm just really stunned by how quickly you were able to dive in uh, to really the nitty-gritty of the issues that face us here at the World Bank uh, and how quickly you were able to come up with suggestions. The possibilities that we simply haven't sat down and considered or haven't really been able to dig into and the data that we simply have not taken advantage of is really overwhelming and I'm just so excited by today but more importantly by tomorrow. I'm very excited by data, but very difficult to share my excitement with uh, other Wildman people. But today I don't want to make any effort. They are really excited. 
by looking at new data, new piece of information. I feel like I'm one of them and I can share any excitement I have every day with them without any explanation. That's something exciting and unbelievable experience for me.